everyone, it's Tawny. In today's video, I just kind of wanted to do, I feel like I do this all the time and I feel like Monty Burns from The Simpsons. But in today's video, I just kind of wanted to do like a get ready with me, like chit chat kind of thing. I wanted to film another video. Um, I had watched one on YouTube. It is the drugstore tag and I'm really excited about that because I love the drugstore and I like love talking about makeup. So like if I can do two things in one, it's great. Um, the lighting in here is a little weird because I have my blinds shut and my window, like the blinds almost completely pulled down, but for some reason the sun is like intense from that angle. So I do apologize if the lighting's a bit like yellow and I'm like washed out on this side. I'm going to try my best to make the video still look decent. Um, I don't really have a whole lot to like talk about. I think I might talk about my like home buying experience and like how that's been going. I mean, I shouldn't say experience, but just how it's been going. So as I'm sure you've all heard, you know, since end of February, early March, I have been thinking of moving and nothing was ever like set in stone around then because, you know, things hadn't progressed to how they were the end of May. So come like mid-May, things, you know, went down and not going to talk about that yet, but I just decided I wanted to move out. So I was looking for other apartments. I had gone to see a couple. I believe there was one, yeah, there was one I really didn't like. My mom went with me and we pretty much, like there was, it was right at the tail end of a construction zone. Like they were putting in a bridge so you could get to the apartment, but you couldn't go beyond that. And we're so familiar with that area that we just didn't think we could even make it to the apartment. So we just walked, like we parked around the other end of the, the like open part and walked around and it was like really stupid. And that should have been our first tent that like, you have to put that much effort into some place and then I'm thinking am I gonna have to pack like move my stuff and carry like a couch in my bed across like an open bridge thing like it was literal construction zone. like we probably should have been walking through it and like you had to walk completely around the house and it was huge like it was a big like multiple apartment building like multiple apartments in one building and the more we walked the less we were like impressed with it and like i had told the woman you know i'm interested in looking at this i'm interested in like viewing it because i'm you know it was cheaper than what i pay now and i think every, it, it was like the same utilities for what i had to pay so it was like you know a steal but it was in a town that i didn't really like it's kind of a town that not so much you move to it and then you die and that's it but it's like you move to it and it's kind of like where you stay kind of a thing like you are very grounded in where you live it's a town mainly for like older people or like say your parents lived there and you grew up there so you're gonna grow you're gonna have your family there like if you don't plan on ever leaving the area that's one of the places that you'd like live in there's another one in the area like the other end of the county and i'll link all the um well not link but i'm just gonna post all of the makeup items i'm using down below so check that out because I'm not going to want to chit chat and then tell you what products I'm using. But I'm sure you can tell based on like the applicator and things like that while I'm using. But um, yeah, so we get there and there's another woman and someone is with her. Like she's about my age or so or looks to be anyway. And the girl with her says her name and I'm like, oh, okay, that's the woman I'm supposed to be meeting. No, they must have the same name or something or like maybe I don't know what the deal with that was. So they... So the woman that is showing the place talks to the other girl that's there like interested in looking at it and doesn't even like acknowledge that I'm there with my mother. Like doesn't even say, oh hey you're Tawny, are you coming to look at it too? She's just like, you can follow us. And I'm immediately like, she has no interest in showing me the place. Like does she even want me to move into it? Did she like look me up and see something she didn't like? Like not that I post anything bad or anything, but I'm just like immediately worried that like it's not going to work out. And at that point I was like, so desperate to find a new place I was willing to take anything almost anything <laughs> um so we get up to this place and we just keep walking around this house I kid you not like I don't think we walked around like four or five six times but we walked around like two different sides and up all these steps and half the steps were like cracked concrete and cement and everything and like just not good and I like looked at mom and she's like do you even want to go in there and I was like, well, I might as well give it a chance. Like we showed up here, you know, not that we like took time out of our day, but we kind of did. And I'm just like, you know, we should give it a chance, at least be nice to the woman, even though she wasn't nice to us and whatever. So we go in and the place immediately has this like weird smell to it. Like it kind of has one of those like old water type. And I'm thinking the town has like well water or something, or it's like not 
very good water like you need to filter your water in order to drink it or use it kind of a thing so that immediately was like a big turn off for me because i have town like city water or whatever or at least that's what i've had since i was like you know since i lived at home and then i moved like down the street and it's the same town so it's gonna be the same water but like that immediately struck me and then the windows all reach the floor which isn't a big deal to me except that it was kind of weird and I'm thinking, how am I supposed to style that? And then I'm like, you put the couch up to it, you can't open the window because you have to reach behind the couch to get the thing open. And I'm like, that's not really something I'm, you know, super interested in. I could do something else on my eyes. But, um, so I was like immediately turned off by that. And the floor looked really old. But I figured because the apartment was so old, like, it's been there since... Because I have to go through that town to get to my elementary middle school. And it was there since I started going to kindergarten, pretty much. And... I, you know, knew it was older and whatever, and, like, the neighbor had a dog that was barking like crazy. I think he had, like, three or four, and they were just going off, and I'm thinking, if they're going to do that every time I have guests over, or every time I walk into the apartment from the, the parking lot, I'm going to be kind of, like, annoyed with that, you know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to get out of what I'm in now with terrible neighbors, don't want to have to deal with terrible neighbors, you know, from next door, even though that's a more appropriate, you know what I mean? Like, if you're a house apart, it's different than being a wall apart because, you know, you can't get away from a wall, but you can go to another part in your, like, house, if that makes sense. I'm trying, like, I'm trying to make it make sense because in my head it does. But, um, so, like, the floors looked cre like crackly, the kitchen didn't look good, the bathroom looked terrible, and I was just, like, not impressed. So then mom was like, let's just go. And I was like, well, let me tell her, you know, I'm not interested, whatever. And she's like, do you want an application? And I was like, no, I'm good. I'll message you if I'm interested. And just kind of, I was trying to be very polite about it. But at the same time, I really wanted her to know I was not at all interested. Like I never wanted to contact this woman again. Because after the way she had treated me, it was like not even acknowledging that we were there at all. I was just kind of like not feeling it. So then we went to one that's like, 20 25 minutes away from where i currently live in like a decent part of town you know they have a lot of construction and road work and stuff out that way and a lot of dui checkpoints like they mainly have them there because there's a fairgrounds near that but i don't ever get drunk or drink and then drive so i figure you know i'm not gonna have a problem with that and then if you know we go somewhere and my boyfriend drinks i'll just drive you know no big deal like we'll make it you know it's not not any you know issue right? it's not a reason for us to not live there and it was an apartment complex which we're trying to steer away from or like you know trying to get out of that because what we're currently in and we hate it but i was like well let's give it a shot whatever the guy was there we were early and he was a little bit kind of like he seemed like he was one of those people that if you show up early you're inconveniencing him by catching him off guard and he kind of had like he seemed like he was really nice when i was messaging him about the apartment and coming to view it so then I was kind of taken aback because like I don't do well with people that are short or that like aren't very talkative or anything that are just kind of like standoffish because I don't know how to act to that because I need somebody that's more like outgoing to get me talkative because I'm not the type to like start a conversation or anything which is why I took my boyfriend I mean aside from the fact that he was going to be living with me but um so we went in and I really liked it and he was fixing the bathroom because something had happened there was a leak in the toilet or something and like the kitchen was the only problem and I think it might have been either counter countertop looked weird or like the countertop space or maybe the cabinets or something but it was something that like we could deal with you know like compared to our current situation we were like that's fine like we'll make it work you know the walls were um wood paneling and I've grown up with that so like I'm used to it but I try and steer clear of that because it's just something that I'm like not really a big fan of like my sister hates it and i feel like she'd make me feel bad if i got a place that had that <laughs> but um i really liked it i told him you know like we're very interested we have the money for the down payment or the the security deposit and for the first month's rent like we want it now like we're ready to fill out the application say we're going to take it and move in that weekend like we were that ready and it was the beginning of june at that point so we were like you know so we don't have to pay for next month's rent we'd like to move out like asap and i'm sure we would have had to pay next month's rent because it was already like a day or two into June. And um, it was kind of like, we had to either make a decision or pay. And we kind of didn't want to pay because of everything going on. We just like, didn't want to give the landlords our money another month. But um, especially if we didn't want to live there and we didn't plan on being there any longer than like a couple days to pack and leave. But um, 
and he was like, well, I have other applicants, but there might be something available the end of June. And we're like, bro, we need out of there before the end of June. Like, we're not trying to be here any longer than necessary. Like, we were looking for a place to move into by Sunday. And it was literally, like, Monday or Tuesday. Like, we told him we are, like, you know. And he just kept saying, like, oh, well, we might have one available then, so check back. And it was pretty much just, like, he wasn't going to give us the place. So I pretty much just, like, threw away the application because I'm like, why bother? He already said that he wasn't going to give it to us. And, like, it was just so frustrating because we were, like, so ready to leave. I had my heart set on leaving. I pretty much told my boyfriend that, like, it's going to be between that one. And I think there was another one that we were looking at. And we were kind of like, you know, we're going to pick one of these two and go with it. And I think the other one was in, like, the college town area of my, like, where I live like it has a university in the town like the town's not that big but it's like the college town of the county and stuff and I didn't really want to live in that area but the place I had seen looked really nice and the woman was like she sells a lot of properties in the area to like students and or other people that are just looking for like your typical rental place and um I don't know what I said about excuse <laughs> but um so I messaged her and I went to the place and the neighbors were really nice. Like I ran into her, the woman, I think her mother and her son. I at least know the son was the one woman's daughter, uh, one woman's child because she made a comment to him and I was like, oh, okay, so you're mother and son. And he was super cute, really nice. And I was like, you know, I could see, you know, living here, like it seems like it'd be a good place and I feel like I'd enjoy it. Well, the people hadn't moved out. So I walked in and the place is like in shambles because it has all these people's like, boxed up like it didn't look at all like the pictures and the pictures had the people's furniture like it literally looked they had trashed the place and like didn't have any intention of coming back to get the stuff out which kind of weirded me out and then like you walked in and it was the living room no big deal you took a right and it went into the kitchen no big deal the kitchen was kind of small but like typical for that area and for like a college town and stuff but then from the kitchen was like a little dining room and then it had like a doorway with no door for a bedroom and I'm like I don't mind the bedroom being there except I'd rather have a door like the people had like a shower curtain or a curtain or something which is fine whenever you have to like make accommodations to make things work but I'm just thinking if there's no door it's kind of like and I just felt like I was imposing because I felt like I was like somebody was gonna walk out of a room and be like oh my gosh why are you here and I didn't really like I don't like the thought of walking around someone's place with all their stuff in it because then if something comes up missing or whatever then it's on me and then I'm like not good at confrontation so i stood around there a little bit trying to kill some time and i liked the view and the window sills were really nice which was kind of the thing that like really made me want to get it but then she was like you know if you're interested send me a message online and then we can go from there and i was like okay and you know i talked it over with my mom and my boyfriend and i was just like not really feeling it because the woman with her son kind of didn't look like she looked a little sketchy and I just didn't really want to be neighbors with, like, she seemed really nice. There's nothing wrong with that. But she was a little thin and she kind of seemed like she was on drugs maybe. And I'm not trying to, like, profile people or, like, stereotype or anything. But I just didn't feel comfortable. That's the whole thing. And it's perfectly fine if you don't feel comfortable, you know, whatever. Like, if you're going to live there, you need to feel comfortable. You need to be okay with being in a place around these people. And I just didn't. So I was like, I don't think I'm going to take it. I think I'm going to keep looking. So that was a bus. So then we, my mom was like, well, why don't you go looking for a house? And I was like, oh, okay. Because I had seen a couple others and I'm not going to talk about it because we're already 13 minutes in the video and I saw a lot to discuss. But I had looked at a nice townhouse and it was like 800 a month, no utilities. And that's like really expensive for just a townhouse or something. But I realized that townhouses are kind of expensive. So I'm like not surprised thinking back, but I didn't know that at the time. So mom was like, well, why don't you look into buying a house? You know, that way it's yours and you can find something really small. And I wanted like a small rent to own, like really cute, like cottagey looking. Like I had this in my head that it was gonna be this real small petite looking house and like it would be our own place. And I didn't think it would be that expensive. You know, I found a place right up the street from my parents that was like $34,000. And I was like, you know, this is perfect. This is what I'm gonna plan for, you know, buying a house. And I got approved for a loan for like not much money, but it was enough to cover for that house. And I was like, you know, this is great. So I called the woman, this was like end of June, and she's like, oh, somebody's under contract for that, and they're gonna take it by the end of the month. And that was like a week later. And I was like, are you kidding me? And under contract from what I've, you know, done my research on and stuff, means that they put up a contract and if the people selling it, and this was a foreclosure, so it was the bank, 
approve of the like offer and everything they can then put it through and you know after 30 days or whatever then you have your place so I was kind of upset because I was like you know I already had plans for what I was going to do to the place because of the pictures I saw and like it was so close to home but it just didn't work out so I looked around and saw a couple others we went and looked at them and one had mold in the basement and we said flat out no it was like a cellar underneath the house it wasn't quite a basement but we said no because we just weren't comfortable with some place that had that and like it smelled a little bit damp like you could smell the moisture when you walked in the place so that was a no then we looked at one i'm trying to think oh we looked at one that the attic you literally had to like bend over like like instead of standing up straight you had to go like this to climb up the attic steps and i was so claustrophobic just standing on the steps and I like don't really like attics, don't really like basements, like I'm kinda, I get scared really easily. So I already had it in my head that I wasn't gonna spend a whole lot of time and you know, whatever. But I was like, I can't even imagine us storing anything up there, let alone like, you know what I mean? And he's like, well, you can make this another bedroom. And I was like, and who's gonna climb up there? Like if we have a kid, how are we supposed to get anything up there? It's like, you have to take the planks, build the stuff. And then whenever you're ready to move it out of there, you have to tear it down and pull it out because it's not big enough for anything to like fit up there. Cause I'm like, there's no way you could put boxes of Christmas ornaments or a Christmas tree or anything like that. Like I just didn't see it working. And I was like, I think I'm gonna pass on this. Like we're like, well, let's look at other stuff. And it was in our, like, it was at the top of our like price range. So then we looked at another one and it was a foreclosure. It was perfect. Like we, you know, the second we saw it, we're like, we wanna go look at it. And it looked great. It had water damage in the basement and it had a lot of like, water flooding because the sump pump had like stopped working and the sump pump is what like pulled water and stuff like if it starts to rain or like the basement starts to flood the sump pump sucks up the water in case you don't know what that is but the landlord was like you know I don't think you know and it was appraised for more than the, the amount that we wanted to pay which was the it was that the very tip top we couldn't have afforded any more money after that point because of our like what the pre-approval loan was so we were just like, you know, we're not really going to go for it because it had some water damage upstairs and then downstairs. And we're just like, it's just too much work. And we're not going to have any money left over to deal with those changes and stuff. So we're like, we're just going to go look for something else. So we really like the area. It had like four, four car spots from a detached garage and then the garage in the basement area, which was perfect because my boyfriend loves working on cars. And like, he wants a place where it has a garage and we can put our cars inside it so it could protect them from the weather and stuff because we get all four seasons here and like somewhat harsh winters he's used to harsher winters because he lived up north like a good hour and a half north from us but like the winters are like terrible and like where we are is in a valley so it's not completely like terrible but for me it's terrible because i hate snow but um so we and it was one that it was gonna um go up for for like for auction or something or for bidding starting July 6th and I kid you not the morning of July 6th somebody already put their bid in like it was really like eight o'clock and the bid was in and I was like so clearly we weren't going to get it so then we went and looked at another one and we really liked it and it was one that like we jumped on it when we saw it and I was like I could see us living here I could see us like it was the first place that felt like home to me and that's something that's really important especially when you're like looking to buy your own house and everything. I think that's straight water. Let's just see what happens. But like, I wanted a place that felt like home and every other place we had seen kind of felt like an apartment. Like it gave me the same vibes as what my apartment currently does now. And everything was just so tight. This one actually had bedrooms and I just felt like it, I just felt like it was home. But we talked with the landlord and like the loan and I, like it didn't really need any kind of work. It needs a little bit of like stuff to it, but more so like um, it was missing siding on the outside and it needed some paint touch ups on the front part. And then it um, like I think there was an electrical problem that needed dealt with, but my boyfriend can do stuff like that. So we weren't really like. We don't see that as an issue because he can do it himself like he doesn't need to call an electrician or anybody to do that because he knows what he's doing and like we you know really liked it but then things didn't work out and we're just like you know we're just going to keep looking and then we talked about it and we're like we have money but we're not like rich and we still have to afford living where we are buying groceries paying bills like 
and functioning, you know, because we're going to want to buy stuff and like, I want to buy makeup. And I mean, I don't spend a whole lot of money on makeup, but like, we want to buy stuff to be comfortable where we are now. And we just can't really like, you know, things just, it just didn't work out. So we were like, you know, we're going to wait, we're going to try and find something better. And the, and the realtor that we have agreed with me, he's like, I don't really think it was, you know, what you want. <laughs> just threw my brush. But, um, he was pretty much like, you know, I'll help you find your house. And if it takes us a hundred houses or five houses, cause we pretty much looked at like five or six or so. And he was like, you know, if it takes us a while, it takes us a while. He's like, we'll make it work. We'll figure out you know, find the perfect home for you. And I was like, you know, in the meantime, I can save up money because I've realized that closing costs and down payments, you're like down deposit, down payment, whatever on the house, they can be kind of expensive. And then if the person on the other, the seller isn't in, like paying for certain things, you end up having to pay for the realtor. And I don't know how much that'll be. So we were like, we don't really have the money and I don't really want to beg my parents for money, even though they know that like we're trying to desperately get out of where we are now. So then I was thinking like today, maybe I should just find an apartment and just do the apartment thing again. And I hate to do that after like talking with the realtor and like dealing with all of that because I feel like I wasted his time because he like helped us so like look for all these, you know, houses and stuff. And then we're like, Oh, we're just gonna rent so thanks for your help bye and i just kind of like the so i don't really want to like tell the realtor you know sorry we're not you're not you know we're not interested anymore we're just gonna rent so i don't know what i'm gonna do i feel like i have to talk to my boyfriend and my parents and just kind of figure out like what's the plan from here because we don't really want to stay here and the more that i'm here the more i don't want to be here if that makes sense like i just i'm tired of it i'm ready to find a new place i'm ready to get out i'm ready to like start enjoying myself and my life and whatnot and i just don't feel like i can like do that here and so i don't know so that's where we're at i kind of wanted to like give you a rundown um if anybody else is looking for a house and is in the same boat i wanted to you know let you know that you're not alone but i also want to know that i'm not alone and like it has me so frustrated like so unbelievably frustrated that we can't move. And like, I was hoping to be out of this apartment by June. And I keep saying things like, I'm not gonna be here much longer. I'm gonna just pack up my stuff and be gone. And like, I keep making all these statements and then nothing comes true. And then I just feel like a phony. And then I'm like, am I even trying? Is it my fault? Should I have done something different? Should this have happened and whatever? And like, and then I'm just like, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to think. I don't know how to feel. I just feel so defeated and like, and I'm just, the more I think about my apartment situation, the more I like watch videos on DIYs and like moving out and like making, you know, a space yours. And like, I'm just like, I want that. I want my own place. I want to be able to do things to it. I want to be able to like have a freaking flower garden where people don't go and like trash the flowers and stuff you know I want to have like my pets live with me because I want to take a cat from my parents house because he was supposed to move with me when I moved here but because they don't allow they don't allow pets he couldn't come and like I want to you know have him live with me because he is kind of a bad cat he's mean to my mom <laughs> you know I'm just trying to help him out and it's just it seems like nothing's going right nothing's working and I'm just so frustrated and then with all this like the pandemic and everything I was stuck at home and just started back at work last Monday the lighting in here is terrible and I apologize but that stupid freaking light I'm almost done the video anyway but like I'm just it, I'm just so frustrated you know the pandemic and everything happened and I get that you know we're supposed to stay at home or whatever but I'm like wasn't comfortable here couldn't go anywhere couldn't escape it I literally like stayed around in my bedroom here and like you know I hate leaving because I have to walk outside I hate hearing loud car noises because my neighbor's car is loud and it reminds me of her and it just makes me depressed and like anxious and like I'm like you know 
and like nobody should have to deal with that nobody should have to feel uncomfortable and like when you're in the middle of a pandemic and you have to stay at home 24 7 you shouldn't be so miserable that you like hate your life you know what i mean and like i don't know i didn't plan on getting emotional but this topic just makes me emotional um i'm sorry about the lighting i'm gonna keep saying that i don't have the best lighting and i'm working off my phone so i do apologize for that um yeah thank you so much for watching um i hope you have a good day don't forget to like share and subscribe and ring the bell down below for notifications on my future videos um i really appreciate you guys appreciate you guys following me and watching my videos it means a lot to me please like this video if you liked it or if you just you know want to help me out make me feel better um so yeah stay tuned for future videos and i'll see you in my next one bye